it was a brilliant performance by the Raptors, regardless of how it ended, regardless of if they would have won or not. But it still feels pretty damn good to beat the Boston Celtics, even if it is a preseason game. Let's break it all down for you in tonight's post-game show. And for the win, guys, if you liked it, you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it, being with me here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Let's jump into things here. The Raptors, great night. Like I said, excellent performance, especially from the starters. A lot of ridiculous plus minus numbers that we're going to be going through the box score in just a moment here. But uh, last five or so minutes, Raptors up by 10, decided to go with the bench. Sorry. Decided to go with the bench. Give them minutes. It's preseason. I understand. So, you know, it felt like regardless of what happened in the game, even if the Celtics were to come back, it, it felt like the Raptors like kind of earned the win. Celtics make a late push with their bench against our bench. They almost snatch the game with a ridiculous Davison three. But in the end, DJ Carden makes a couple free throws. Great defensive stand by Brandon Carlson at the end of the game as well to seal the win. And hey, if you're going to play well, it feels even better to win. And the vibes would be a lot sweeter in that Raptors locker room after this game with the 119 to 118 win. Well, where do we begin? We begin with the first quarter where the Raptors were hot. 46 to 27 was a score in the first quarter. Celtics brought it back and actually led at halftime. But it was a flurry of threes in the first quarter led by Scotty Barnes. He missed his first three. Made four in a row after that. I think three. the next three baskets the Raptors made were Scotty Barnes threes. And he hit four in a row in pretty quick succession. Ended up going five of nine from three. Ten of 17 from the field. One rebound away from a triple-double, but he had 10 assists and 26 points. Much better demeanor today compared to the last Celtics game where just felt like he was lacking engagement in the first half. Better second half. Brought it for the full game today, the full 30 minutes he played, which is awesome. Grady Dick, also a huge catalyst in that early run, was 3 of 3 from 3 to start the game. Unfortunately, we'll end 3 of 8 from 3, but 12 of 21 from the field with 27 points leading the way for the Raptors and 6 rebounds will go a long way to helping Grady Dick with his confidence, especially after a pretty rough performance in the last one against the Celtics. If there was a debate about Grady Dick being the fifth starter for the Raptors, feel like today put that one to bed. He was fantastic, scoring at the rim, scoring in mid-range, scoring from three, and making good decisions everywhere. More of that, please, from Grady Dick. Others, starters that were impressive, Jakob Pertl, 15 points, 16 rebounds, 6 of 8 from the field, plus 25 in this one. Uh, I, I seriously don't understand why people don't like Jakob Pertl. Like, he's fantastic, and the Raps are way better with him defensively he's fantastic he's a great interior scorer he's just what this team needs right now and he turned tw like today October 15th the day of this game he turned 29 today he's not even a 30 yet nor will he be for another year so age is pretty still on his side he's not like an athletic player that needs to be limber or anything he's gonna be fine for years to come he's a great player to have unreal performance 12 15 points six and yards plus 25 did not lead the way in plus minus because that honor goes to Oche Abaji. Plus 29 in 31 minutes, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 7-11 from the field. A much more aggressive Oche Abaji for this one. That's what we want to see. That's Abaji earning rotation minutes. Got the start here and, and showcases why. Much, much better from Oche Abaji in this one. David Mitchell, I said before the game, I said before the game, I want to see improvement on offense. I want to see more involvement. You know, the passing has been great. The distribution has been great. People tried to con me into thinking his defense was overrated in when they traded for him. Not the case. Fantastic defender. Need to see more offensive involvement. He's going to have a big role this season. He's going to be leading the second unit, according to Darko, this season. Got to add on some points. How about three of six shooting from three? Great stuff. Ten assists in this one. Good defense all the way through. Nine points as well, plus eight. Off the bench, not Boucher's best. Fernando continues. The stats actually look okay, but continues to kind of not be great. Um, 
James and Battle look fantastic, and, and I bring up Fernando here because Fernando's contract is guaranteed if he makes the Raptors open day roster. It's guaranteed for the full year. He doesn't make the Raptors opening day roster, contract's over, no more money owed to him. So he's fighting an uphill battle to make the roster, and it's a bigger battle with a guy like Jamison Battle playing the way he did. 3-7 from the field, 2-5 of five from 3. Um, tough minutes late for the bench, but I thought Battle played well. Not sure this is a guy that's going to make that roster spot. He's on an Exhibit 10 deal, but I don't really see a big role for Fernando. He's just not playing that well in preseason, so I'm okay to cut him, just have an open roster spot. And hey, Battle wouldn't be a horrible guy to take a chance on. Uh, as far as the battle for rotation spots, Jonathan Bobo certainly not really doing his himself any favors of getting in there. Uh, 14 minutes today, minus 30 in those 14 minutes, and it felt like it. Struggled on defense, got burned a bit too easily. I don't really see what his role is defensively. He's not a good rim protector, not good enough at least, and he's not good enough on the perimeter either. Tough to really find a role for him there, and especially on offense, not an assured passer, doesn't really know what he wants to do with the ball when he gets in the paint, doesn't really have a plan. So it's tough to find minutes for him, I think, in the regular season. Uh, he's a working working progress. He's a project sort of player, so we'll see. Some G League time, I think, is definitely needed there. Others off the bench. Brandon Carlos gets one minute, makes a really good stop to end the game to give the Raptors the win as, as Walsh was driving for the winning layup. Um, Shed, six minutes, tough night for him. Uh, good defender, but Jesus, stop running. Like We ran a few offensive sets for him to shoot in mid-range. He's got no jumper. Uh, he's got no jumper. That's it. Ramsey also struggled again here. Uh, yeah, Ramsey's Exhibit 10. He'll be in the G League. DJ Carton's two-way. He'll be in the G League. Brandon Carlson. Brandon, Car Brandon Carlson? It's Brandon Carlson, right? Two-way guy. One minute here. Yeah, Brandon Carlson. He'll, he'll be in the G League. But uh, Mobo's not a two-way guy or an Exhibit 10 guy. He's a 31st overall pick. Oh, they adjusted. Exactly. He was only minus 28, actually. So I guess we'll be okay there. Little uh, interruption there. Only minus 28. Not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Not good. Uh, moving on to the team stats here. Raptors started the game 10 of 12 from three. And it's good that they did because they shoot 15 of 43. Which means they made five of their next 22. Or 21. So, yeah, that, that early flurry was enough and a very good third quarter, actually, against the Celtics starters, which set the tone for the game. I thought the Celtics, after you know taking the lead right before half, after being down by 19 after the first, I thought the Celtics would run us over in the second half. Great third quarter. That was the Raptors starters at their best uh, from preseason because the first quarter, as much as it was awesome, they started 10 of 12 from three. That's why they were winning. But when they dug in and had to start playing proper basketball, didn't have the hot hands from three, that's when you saw them, I think, at their best in the third quarter of this game. End up shooting 50% from the field here. Hold the Celtics to 41%. Um, they got out free throw 28-13, to 13, but still win the game. Testament to their scoring today and testament to the rebounding. 57 rebounds to 36. We'll take it. Good win, man. All over the, all over the shop. An impressive win by the Raptors, you know, after basically getting dumped by the main Celtics a couple nights ago. Good response. I know they lost by four in the end, but great response by this team to come out with a different attitude and a different demeanor. Um, very, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I mean, you can't control always how well you play. You can't control how hard you try. And there was a lot of effort in today. Um, certainly something had to have been said and the response was there. So the fact that they're able to, to rally like that, I like that a lot. One more preseason game hopefully follows suit as this one. Uh, I'm very, very excited for that. For more Raptors content like this for virtually every Raptors game, you got to be subscribed to the channel, support what we do, and please make sure as well you drop a like on the channel. We'll see you again for the next one. I will be available for that next one, the Raptors, Friday, October 18th against the Brooklyn Nets. We go live at 7 p.m. Eastern time. 
post-game show goes up the next morning. 